Hello everyone. In this talk, I'll be speaking about well-structured committees. This is a joint work with Sushmita Gupta and Saket Saurav. So committee selection problem is a well-studied problem in computational social choice theory. In this work, uh, we study a generalization of this problem uh, where we also consider the possible uh, interactions or uh, dependencies between the committee members. So in committee selection problem, we have a set of candidates and a set of voters. And one of the election model uh, is that uh, voters rank candidates on the basis of their preferences. And the goal is to choose a subset of K candidates uh, using some voting groups. And we call this uh, subset of candidates as a committee. So this is a classical committee selection model. And uh, uh, but the, this model has some uh, limitations in the sense that uh, it uh, uh, usually ignores the interaction between the committee members. So, uh, so the next question is what are the uh, possible inter interactions between the committee members that might be of interest? So um, we look for the uh, conflict-free committees. So, uh, so here we want uh, a committee such that there is no conflict between the committee members. We model it using a candidate graph. So candidate graph is a graph where vertex set is the same as the candidate set and uh, uh, edge between two candidates represent conflict between uh, them. So, uh, committee is conflict free if uh, no two committee members are adjacent in the candidate graph. So uh, this is a uh, well studied uh, graph theoretic problem which is an independent set problem. So another possible interaction that we look for is the connectivity. So again we have a candidate graph where vertex set is same as the vert, uh, candidate set. Now the edge between two candidates represent dependency between them. So we uh, say that uh, a committee is uh, connected if it induces a connected subgraph of candidate graph. So it, it is possible in uh, real life that there are scenarios where we want some kind of connectivity between the uh, candidates. For example, if we are looking for a rescue team, then you would like to have a connectivity between the uh, committee members. Uh, so uh, we are uh, not the first one to study uh, such possible interactions between the committee members. So uh, in uh, HK 2018, Yang and Wang uh, studied this model for the approval model, uh, approval voting. We study it for the uh, ordinal election when we have a, a preference ranking over the candidates. So formally, the problem is QRSCS problem. So where Q is for uh, graph property and R is uh, some voting rule. And here the, as an input, we have a preference ranking over the candidates uh, as in the classical uh, committee selection problem. And along with this, we also have a candidate graph. And now the goal is to find a committee that satisfies graph property Q and also maximizes the committee score under the voting rule R. We consider the property of independence and connectivity and the voting rule that we consider is the K-Boda, Chamberlain current and Curlin stability. I'll quickly discuss uh, these voting rules. So we have this uh, ranking over the candidates. Now uh, every voter assign a score M minus I to a candidate at position I, where M is the total number of candidates. Now suppose we have uh, this committee now we define satisfaction of every voter from this committee. So uh, satisfaction of uh, a voter in K-Boda is the sum of the voter score of the committee members. So for a voter V1, uh, the voter score of this blue guy is uh, 1 and this uh, green lady is 2. So the satisfaction of voter V1 is 3. Similarly, the, so, uh, we compute the satisfaction of voter V2, which is uh, 2. We compute satisfaction of voter V3 and V4. Now the Boda score is the uh, total satisfaction of the voter, by which we mean that we take the summation of the satisfaction of all the voters. So here the Boda score is 9. And uh, the goal is to choose a K-sized committee with maximum Boda score. Next we uh, consider uh, CC committee. So again, here we have a preference ranking over the candidates and every voter assigned score M minus I to a candidate at position I. 
and suppose this is our committee so again we need to define the uh, satisfaction of voters with respect to the committee so here the satisfaction of a voter is the voter score of top prefer uh, candidate in the committee so here we can see that for the for voter b1 this uh, green lady is preferred more than uh, this blue guy so satisfaction of b1 is the voter score of this green lady so which is 2 similarly we compute the satisfaction of all the voters now uh, as in the previous case so the cc score is the total satisfaction of the voters and here also the goal is to choose a k sized committee with maximum cc score the next voting rule that we consider is garden stability so here again we have ranking over the candidates and suppose this is a committee a uh, committee is garden stable if every committee member is preferred over every non committee member by at least half of the voters and the goal is to choose a k sized garden stable committee Uh, so next we study the complexity of uh, all these problems it turned out that the problem all these problems are np hard so uh, as we know that uh, cc and uh, garland stable uh, committee are uh, already np hard problems so it is not surprising that uh, these generalizations are also np hard uh, and uh, as the independent set problem is hard uh, again it is not surprising that uh, conflict free k boda is uh, also np hard while k boda is polynomial polynomial time solvable uh, however uh, we know that uh, uh, we can find a connected subgraph of a graph in polynomial time and uh, k boda is also polynomial time solvable uh, however the co connected k boda is uh, np hard problem and the reduction comes from this trinity problem we next study parameterized complexity of these problems with respect to several uh, natural parameters and uh, we also consider restricted domains of uh, the profiles and also special graph classes now i'll uh, quickly discuss some of our results so for conflict free k boda we have that the problem is w hard with respect to the size of the committee even for for one voter and zero score so this clearly gives us that uh, the problem is also w hard with respect to the number of voters as the problem is para np hard uh, with respect to the uh, number of voters now uh, uh, we know that the problem has a trivial fpt algorithm with respect to the parameter m as we can try all possible subsets of m uh, we improve this running time to 1.4423 to the power m for connected k boda we have that the problem is fpt with respect to the committee size however the question remains open with respect to the number of voters so next we consider conflict free cc so we have that the problem is w hard with respect to size of the committee even for one voter and zero score and the problem is also w hard uh, even when the graph uh, is uh, edgeless so as a tractability results we have that the problem is fpt with respect to the number of voters when the number of maximal independent sets in the candidate graph is polynomial because we can also enumerate uh, these uh, independent sets in polynomial time and then uh, we can uh, basically run the known uh, fpt algorithm with respect to n for uh, cc for uh, every maximal independent set again the problem is trivially fpt with respect to n m and we improve this running time to 1.1996 to the power m for constant number of voters and for single peaked profile we have the uh, when algorithm with uh, running time 1.4423 to the power m next we consider connected cc so this problem is np hard even for single peaked profile and uh, uh, it is also w hard with respect to the size of the committee even when the candidate graph is a click so the problem is also w hard with respect to the committee size even for unanimous profile so unanimous profile is a profile where uh, ev the top most preferred candidate of every voter is same 
so we have a fpt algorithm here with respect to the number of voters plus the solution size and we have fpt with respect to l plus k uh, and q plus k where l and q are the distance parameter from the unanimous profile so in parameterized complexity uh, distance from an easy instance uh, are some natural parameters uh, so l is the uh, number of voters who need to change the profile so that the um, profile is unanimous and uh, uh, the q and the parameter q is the uh, minimum number of consecutive swaps that are required um, so that the profile is unanimous but the question remains open with respect to the number of voters and uh, uh, with respect to the solution uh, solution size when the profile is single peak so we know that the problem is uh, w hard with respect to the committee size in general but uh, the complexity for single peak profile remains open next we uh, uh, look at conflict free guardian stable committee so the problem is w hard with respect to the solution size even for two voters and single peak profile so again this problem is also w hard with respect to the number of voters the problem is also w hard with respect to the solution size even when the candidate graph is edgeless it is also w hard with respect to solution size even for unanimous profile so again the problem is trivially fpt with respect to the number of candidates but we improve this running time to 1.4656 to the power m the problem uh, also has polynomial time algorithm for uh, a uh, strongly unanimous profile so profile is strongly unanimous if the preference list of uh, uh, all the voters is same so we have some uh, more tractability results uh, with respect to the parameter uh, which are uh, distance from the easy instance so for connected uh, guardian stable committee we have w hardness with respect to the solution size even when the candidate graph is a click and uh, it is also w hard with respect to k even for unanimous profile the problem uh, has trivially fpt and we improve the running time to 1.4656 to the power m and uh, we have also have polynomial time algorithm for strongly unanimous profile now some of the questions are we of course we can uh, look for some approximation algorithms we can uh, consider uh, to consider some voting rules other voting rules and graph properties and uh, another interesting question is to relax the requirement of independence so currently we see that uh, we want uh, we do not want any conflict between the committee members but uh, we might not have such a committee so we would like to minimize the uh, number of uh, conflicts between the committee members which means that we want to minimize the number of edges between the uh, committee members thank you